The big problem we've got here now is poor old Ross has run out of people to chat to, so he has to chat to himself <laughs> up here in heaven. <laughs> oh, get out of here! Get out of here! This is the sort of thing I've got to deal with, honestly. We have got a four metre hammerhead swimming around under Derry here. <laughs> Well, so Johnny's just come over, and we're going to pull the truck out and uh, and put it up up there. I'll get my factory there, so I can work on it for a few weeks. We've got to move all this shit out of the way and move the stairs out of the way. So uh, better get to work, eh? Got to pull the staircase out. It's held together with two bolts, one here, and one over here, and uh, the whole thing just lifts out. So it's actually three bolts, and another one up there. Slide the gates open, and, uh, and then we can just freewheel this out. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, up to uh, to beside my factory where I can start cutting and welding up. It's that easy. Five minute job. Everything is designed to be pulled apart. So we're gonna wheel this baby out and uh, roll it up into here so I can work on it. Let's get some light on in here, eh? A bit of light, Let's see what the hell we're doing. Um, so this is just gonna free wheel straight out. I might have to just pull my compressor out of the way, actually, that's probably a good idea. Now because I'm a paranoid brick, everything is locked in down here, like barrels, everything, you name it, any, all my 44 gallon drums, everything's chained up. Because so you just don't know what people are going to do. I have got a security camera on this mould as well, so I can pretty much tell you if anyone's nicked in anything. But I'll just get everything out of the way, and then I'll be able to roll it straight out. Get behind it, push, and I'll push. It's going to come out straight, you right? Yeah? All right, let's go. Take your time, you can't steer. It's alright, you can now. Okay. And then you know we're going to turn the other one. Do it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, right. <clears throat> Okay, so I've been waiting for this parcel. This is uh, hopefully going to be my solution to uh, lifting the um, the mould and, in fact, the boat into the future on this big truck that I'm uh, sort of building. So, uh, just got it in. Hopefully, this is going to work. All right. So what it is? It's a pneumatic eight-ton ram. Uh, I'm going to end up with four of these along the line of the uh, of the truck, and I'm hoping that's enough to lift the, the whole thing up in the air. Um, not really sure how that's going to go. All right, so I've now cut four of these uh, uh, sort of eight-inch by eye beams that are gonna form the bases of my jack assembly. So now I've got a plasma cut a hole in each one of these in between the acros to uh, house the cleavus pin on the uh, hydraulic ram. So that's basically where I'm at. It took me a little bit of while to get these exactly right, but I wanted them as close as possible so that when I, when I mount them, I can weld them in situ and not have to worry too much about uh, any gaps. So after my recent experience with this plasma cutter, I've got my bloody little burn marks all over me, so I've, I've suited them in, in an overalls and uh, I've got the welding mask on because I got a bit sunburnt yesterday because I think I got a bit close to it. So I'm going to huck out these, uh, these holes for this cleavus pin with the plasma cutter and uh, we'll go from there.
Look at this. Yes. How else would a blade do it? I mean, you'd have to be drilling holes and jigsaw and muddy grinding for hours with that. All right, so I'll cut the first one. I'm gonna cut this second one here, and that cleavers pin will fit straight in. Definitely recommend standing back. <laughs> Not your balls burn off. That is at 50 amps and 60 psi. So you know, imagine, imagine 60 amps. You'd be blowing a hole through one inch steel. Fantastic. Okay, so here we go. Beautiful. So I'll then uh, drill a hole through the bottom there, put a bolt through it, and uh, that'll be perfect. It's absolutely spot on. Yeah, it certainly ain't pretty, <laughs> but it'll uh, it'll do the job. I'm going to weld up some brackets around the outside of this once I get these um, these these jacks in place. But yep, that's done. And uh, around here. I've got uh, this one done, and then up the front. That one's already in place in the front, so yep, basically ready to start uh, cleaning up, welding everything in place, drilling some holes, and uh, I'm ready to go. So we're doing a proof of concept here, eh, Johnny? Easy. Yep. Easy. I'm an engineer star. Look at this. Oh, someone's trying to call me. All right, uh, so we've got that happening. All right, so if these are attached. Yeah. Greg, can you just hold that one on there? Just hold that up under there. Okay. Ready? Here we go, Johnny, it's going up, ready? So the idea is to lift up, and then we roll our acroprops up to get the height. That'll work, eh? Once I join it all together, oh, I love it. I think it's fantastic. I need to buy the proper bolts to lose the props. Um, you need to level them up at the same level, too. Yeah. Right, eh? so if that's now held in place. Drop it down. I can even matches my suit. Hey. Wound up the acros, see it's tight. That looks pretty level. Should be able to relieve the jack. You ready? I'm ready. That's relieved now. Perfect. Push down on the steel. How good's that? Yeah, I've got it. That's it. And then I can remove my jacks. And the boat can go in the water. And the boat can go in the water. And don't get, salt water, don't get salt water over your jack, son. Dodgy Brothers, buddy. Uh, Dodgy Brothers boat launching truck. So I'm afraid I've got to leave the mould for a little bit, uh, for a couple of weeks, while uh, Janet and myself flew over to Western Australia, uh, flying into Perth right here now, where we booked a camper van and spent a week travelling in the southwest corner of uh, Western Australia. Following that, we then uh, had to fly north to Exmouth, up to the Ningaloo Reef, where I uh, conduct as part of my work uh, sea kayaking trips a couple of times a year. and. Uh, you know, I thought it'd be very interesting to put this into this video so you guys can sort of uh, see the sort of work that I'm doing up there and why I can't sort of work on the mould every day. So here it is, and I hope you enjoy this journey. So we've just arrived down at uh, Castle Rock at Meelup Beach. Um, we're going to go for a bit of a walk. Uh, it's absolutely stunning, this joint. Here comes the boss. This is our machine, our uh, Let's Go Camper. Pretty comfy. What do you reckon, honey? Pretty good, eh? Yeah, it's awesome. This place, wow. What is this? Geographic Bay.
southwest West Australia. Absolutely freaking stunning. Stunning. There are, however, a lot of shark attack uh, warnings on the beaches here because these beaches are just prolific with salmon and uh, and the, the whaler sharks come in and the tigers and uh, and, the, and even the whites come in here and uh, cruise these coast uh, coastal beaches looking for anything to eat and uh, that includes a surfer. There was an attack about two k's down the road here two days ago so yes it, it is a bit of a sharky place so not advisable to uh to go surfing out here what's up you better go back what are you gonna go do get the binoculars. didn't you have them in tasmania <laughs> Stop it. Can I get the keys didn't you have them in tasmania didn't you didn't you yeah, learn from your tasmanian experience to tasmania. good deal <laughs> I'm a sunny WA on the wettest and coldest week they've had in about four or five months. <laughs> Just got smashed at a big uh, wind score came through with heaps of rain. But uh, check out where I am. This is Milup Beach. Just stunning. I like all the plastic plant protectors here in this beautiful natural environment. <laughs> Go to a naturalist park, don't we? We have to get gear off. You're supposed to have no clothes, but right? naturalist walk. Oh, it's naturalist, not naturalist. Oh, I've been getting it wrong. What a waste of a drive. Where are we going? Okay. Yep. Squall is coming straight for us. So as you can see, the uh, the week um, sustained some pretty incredible winds. We were down in the southwest corner, uh, Cape Naturalist, and then down to Cape Lewin, uh, was, which is where the Southern and the Indian Oceans meet. Um, obviously, a pretty windy little place, but uh, yeah, it just didn't abate for about a week. We had pretty much continuous winds and massive seas, and uh, from there we drove inland back to Perth and then uh, took the two-hour flight up to the Learmonth Air, Air Base, uh, which is basically on the Exmouth Peninsula, uh, around about the Tropic of Capricorn, and uh, where we met our guide for the week and, uh, and headed off for our big sea kite trip. So here's the trip. in Exmouth, um, heading out to the Ningaloo Reef for a six day sea kayaking trip and some uh, whale watching. And if you have a look over here, the kayaks and the trailer we've got in front of us, um, we're, we're going to be camping down at a place down near Yardi Creek. And uh, what we're looking at here is the main lighthouse at the top of Cape Range National Park. And uh, we're about to get a, a full view of the whole Ningaloo Reef and uh, all the way down towards Coral, Coral Bay. So. Yeah, awesome week ahead and gonna have a great time. Legendary. <laughs> cool. Good deed. 
So I've just arrived at Bungala. This is a bit of a rugged road. I think I broke down about here once before. <laughs> this is our campsite for the week. <laughs> it's a bit rickety. Here we are. Bungala. Doing well, Pam, you're doing well. Look at you guys. So we've just pulled into Osprey campsite. We're packing up boats. We're gonna lock them up here for the night. And the plan is to go from Osprey Bay up to South Mandu, which is up here. So shorter distance paddling tomorrow, but we've got some really nice snorkeling opportunities along the way as well. So when we leave Osprey Bay tomorrow, we paddle around this point and Sandy Bay here is a really beautiful spot. So it doesn't look like much on the map again, but it's really shallow turquoise lagoon and it's just really really pretty to paddle. So we have got a four meter hammerhead swimming around under Neri. <laughs> Yeah, there he is. Get up, there he is here, shit. Watch him, Neri. I'm filming it. Oh, fuck, he's massive. Oh. Probably a turtle. He's coming at us, Janet, straight at us. Straight here, right beside us. Back up, back up. He's right here. He's right here, boys. Straight at you, boys. He's coming right under you. He's already given them a kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Wow. He's like four meters, that guy. He's huge. Keep paddling towards it, I'm filming it. He comes up, he's coming towards it. Just don't get too close to him. Just get ready with your paddle, give it a belt. He's, he's under you. Uh, look out, Neri. He's under you. He's right beside you. <laughs> Oh wow! That is a big shark! <laughs> wow! I'd be leaving him alone. He's getting worked up. He was thrashing something earlier, whether it was a turtle or something. How's everyone going after that little experience? <laughs> How's the boys going? They got a kiss on the bum by a hammerhead. Maybe he's trying to drive a nail in. Yeah, leave him be now. It's so worked up though. Dolphins! Look at them. 
Swimming the water out. Look at him. Nary! This day just keeps getting better. Look at that. Look right under us. We're coming towards you guys. We're just here. It does, yeah, you gotta get low. Oh, not a bad, that's not a bad effort actually, Michael. It's not bad, it's better than my effort. <laughs> that would be called crotch skip. Oh, Neri. See how Neri goes. Haven't you done it? Oh, you've got long legs, long arms. Oh, blew him out of the water. <laughs> oh, I'm hopeless. So I'm up here on uh, Mandu Mandu Gorge in uh, northwestern Western Australia and uh, having a bit of a week off the morals, running a sea kayaking trip up here in the Ningaloo Reef. If you've uh, liked this video, please click like, subscribe, and uh, you know make a comment because if you want to come and do one of these trips, give me a yell. The big problem we've got here now is poor old Ross has run out of people to chat to, so he has to chat to himself <laughs> up here in heaven. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. This is the sort of thing I've got to deal with, honestly. This is my job. Can you believe I have to put up with that? <laughs> classic. Classic stuff. Get on your way, Beck. Get down that hill. <laughs> Before I start a rock fall.
<laughs> You're a classic.